everyone, this is Samantha. And Hope. And we are back again with another video to talk about meta transactions. So, Samantha, when you go into trade in the Digifox app, there is a Digifox fee and there's also a network fee. What is a network fee? So a network fee is basically a mandatory fee you have to pay the miners on the network where an Ethereum wallet, so it's primarily going to be on the Ethereum network. And it's basically the fee you have to pay in order to let your transaction, whether it be sending money, trading coins, anything like that, you have to pay it in order to let your transaction actually go through and update the Ethereum blockchain. So you're basically, what you're doing is you're basically paying the miners for their computing power in order to update the blockchain. Okay. So their computers like all over the world and you're basically paying them for their electricity to update that block that says you did this thing. So then all the people can see the block. Yeah. You have to pay on the Ethereum network. The network fee has to be paid in the Ethereum crypto. What? Yeah. So that's actually really annoying because- I don't remember when I first heard that. So you have to own Ethereum in order to send crypto no matter what like other coins you're sending, you have to be able to pay in crypto. So then what happens if I don't own any Ethereum? Well, that is where this little thing called meta transactions come in. Okay. Um, so originally you would just be stuck. You'd have to buy some Ethereum. Even if you were like, this coin is a horrible coin, you still had to buy some. Um, mm -hmm. I'm not saying that it's a horrible coin. I'm just saying <laughs> like, if that were your opinion, if that was the case, then you would still And you did not some. want any Ethereum. Then you would still you would have, have to get some. Though. Yep. What happened was these things called meta transactions um, basically came around, and nice. what that's what we have implemented at Digibox. And what we do is we take the network fee, the equivalent network fee, out of whatever coins you are trading, sending, whatever, and we are basically paying your fee for you. in a the yeah. in Ethereum. We're not paying it for you necessarily, but we are taking money from you and using that fee to cover our fee. So let's say you're sending Billy Bob Joe some gold. Okay. But in order to send him money, you have to pay a fee in silver. In silver. But you don't own any silver, no, okay? You I think silver's not. stupid, or you just don't have any purchase for some reason. I don't have any purchase. But I have silver. Hmm. And you basically tell me, hey, I want to send Billy Bob Joe this gold that I have. And I'm like, okay. And I take your gold. We're considered a relayer. Oh. So what we're doing, you basically tell me what the transaction you want to occur in this hypothetical situation i'm taking your gold and i'm like okay billy bob joe here's you know the gold um or i tell the network here's send the gold to, to send yeah. it to him and then they're like oh but we need silver to do this i'm like oh well that's gonna be because i happen to have some silver for hope and then i just take that the equivalent of that out of the gold and keep that and i just have a stash of the silver that i use and i can basically do that for you and everyone else and that is what Digifox does in a very roundabout way. Gotcha. So we're basically making it so that you don't have to own any Ethereum to do the transactions. So right. otherwise you would have to. But in this scenario, you do not. Exactly. You can just pay that fee basically with whatever you have on hand. Yep. Yep. Which is really nice. Whatever yeah. you happen to be trading is what we'll take the fee out of. Um, and it's not like we're charging extra for it. We're not making any money off of this. It's just making it more convenient for you, the user, so you don't have to own it just do your business as you see fit. All right, so that's basically a rough outline of meta transactions. If you're still confused, you can go read a blog post I wrote about it, or you can send us a message in customer support. Hope and I are always on there. So we will give you a nice, another easy, nice explanation about meta transactions if you're still confused, mm -hmm. which is fine. It's a crypto is super confusing. I'm so confused half the time. This has been Samantha and Hope, and we will see you next week or next video. Whenever the next video is, we'll see you then. <laughs> Bye. Bye.